hi guys so um i think that the bear market will last till the middle of 2019 uh, so in total one year and a half that's the most likely and and we started in december uh 2017 so we're three months in huh? uh but that means we're more than a year to go why do i think that because um, uh, the bull market uh, took uh, three years this time. This is the longest bull market we had in cryptocurrency. It started early 2015 when Bitcoin bottomed out at $160. Uh, and so in December 2017, that's three years. And um, the previous bull market uh, in uh, 2012 and 13 took only two years. Uh, actually, it's funny because then in 2013, also in the middle of December, Bitcoin peaked out then at 1,150. Um, and, um, and, uh, and so, but the low uh, in 2011, it went up from basically $1 to $32, then it collapsed to $3, while the $3 was at the end of the 2011. So it was 2012 and 2013, it went up from the low to the high. So that's two years. Now it took three years eh, from 2015, 16, and 17, from the low to the high. And previous winter, a uh, previous bear market took only one year uh, uh, from uh, middle December um, 2013 till uh, January 2015. That's one year that the bear market took. Um, um, so, 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 so two years bull market, one year bear, bear market was the previous cycle. Now we have three years bull market we had. So it took basically 50% longer the bull market. So that's why I think the bear market will also take 50% longer. And so that means that instead of one year bear market, we will have one and a half year bear market. That's I think the most likely. It means that middle 2019, we will find the bottom. And, um, and, 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 and also important is that well, Bitcoin bottomed in 2015, uh, but not uh, altcoins. Uh, early 2015, actually, it took another year for many alts to basically go down in fiat value. Uh, because what, what happened was when Bitcoin finally slow in January 2015, it started to go up uh, from $160 to 200 250 then back to 200 And at the end of the year, finally, it shot up to 300 400 but during that year, uh, Bitcoin started to move up again, but alts continued to go down versus Bitcoin and fiat value. Some of them also uh, continued to go down. I remember NXT, for example, started the year at a market cap of 20 million in 2015 and ended the year at 7 million. So it lost another, why Bitcoin had found its bottom, NXT lost another 70% uh, in that year. So that was really tremendous. And, and so... Um, uh, 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 I think the same will happen again, um, even though it, it, the Bitcoin and this time probably, of course, other uh, major currencies, uh, by that time, actually, Ethereum might be already bigger than Bitcoin in the middle of 2019. Uh, and, um, and, and maybe Bitcoin Cash is challenging Bitcoin also already because their rankings do change. Uh, also during a bear market, I'll buy it less. But so Ethereum could by that time be bigger. And so Ethereum could be the first time to find its low actually in middle 2019. Eh? Um, um, because the strongest coin uh, uh, usually finds its low the first. And so by that time it might be Ethereum and Bitcoin might be a little bit later. But basically the big boys will like most likely bottom around that time. But the small caps eh, and the middle caps not. It, it, it will likely take another year and, or year and a half. Uh, for, for small caps and mid caps to find their low huh? and uh, very likely in the beginning so that means the second half of 2019 and even du during 2020 they might have a hard time uh, they might continue to drop versus uh, the bigger coins being then Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash uh, and might find their low only in 2020 so I'm telling this because it's extremely important uh, this is um, uh, 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 this is very important because, um, uh, yeah, it's just such a waste of time eh, to be in a bear market and always think that it's going to go up again and, and, and buy on, on new lows and then, okay, it goes up for a while, but then it starts to go down again and finds a new low a couple of months later. It's very frustrating and, and, and I really do not recommend to be a part of that. So there is no money to be made in crypto basically for a long time. There's... However, a lot of money still to be lost. 
and um, uh, unless you are a short-term trader and uh, also use instruments like shorting uh, cryptos of course then there is money to be made uh, but if you're not uh, that kind of investor you're just a long-term investor my recommendation is to stay out the market of course it all depends on your exposure if you have zero percent exposure today it makes sense to have 10 percent exposure today or 20 percent you don't know what's going to happen for sure i'm just talking probabilities here uh, there's also a small probability we go into a new bull market uh, today uh, and, uh, and and we never see these prices again uh, over the next uh, for a long time uh, and we so this is also a small probability so that's why a small exposure is justified but the largest probability is it's going to go a lot deeper and, and, and the market will get depressed again. Uh, and so um, there is no opportunity right now from that perspective at all. Um, so, uh, but, but what can you do during a bear market? Um, well, the things you can do is actually start to study the market because opportunity will get, become better and better over time. And, 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 and a bear market is really... Uh, the best climate to judge projects because well in a bull market all projects are going up everybody's doing well everybody is euphoric eh? uh, it's a little bit like um, uh, when you're successful in life uh, 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 judging your friends well they will all be very nice to you eh? <laughs> but uh, it's when you have a hard time in life that you will discover your real friends eh? when you're um, when you have a misfortune um, and uh, uh, and you actually can really use friends, uh, then you will see that um, well, many, many, many drop off, uh, and, and 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 so real the, the real friends, uh, the real friendships that uh, turn up, uh, and that's the same in a bear market for projects. You will see that uh, in all projects, uh, many, many, many people leave uh, and become negative, uh, very negative. Uh, uh, and uh, I really are a drain on the project, uh, and, um, and 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 so that's good to discover. But also the leadership of the project uh, uh, is very important to see how they respond. Uh, are they starting to work harder, produce more, uh, try to get more adoption, or are they also like uh, just taking a step back from the project and? I mean, or, or, or perform a lot less. Like this is very important to to, to judge, um, and and so why? Because well, you know, it's from it's only another year basically before we find the low, huh? uh, and and so during that year you will can see a lot, and 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 that will be a, a great time to buy. But in order to be ready to buy at a low, you need to know in advance what you want to buy and set your buy orders. And so that's the job to be done over the next year is to judge projects. And then um, uh, there's also um, what Coco uh, mentioned uh, as a response to my last video, which was a for the first time a um, a uh, live video. Uh, and thank you so much for all for participating. But uh, but Coco mentioned also that actually during a bear market or and a little bit after the low is found or during the low and when it starts to go up again, but slowly you will see new projects pop up. And actually, these are the big money makers, the new projects, and because they will implement a lot of the innovations that uh, they will just come with a lot of innovative stuff and, 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 and will go up percentage-wise a lot more, get a lot more new investors also because they've been going up a lot more. And so this is what's happened to Ethereum. Uh, um, uh, Ethereum Dash... Um, Monero, all these projects were basically not seen uh, in the bubble of 2013. Came up more uh, after that in 2014-15, and and uh, and really went up a lot more than Bitcoin. Uh, so, um, and, um, uh, this will happen again. Uh, and so, not only is it interesting to study existing projects, how they respond to, during the bear market, and are they able to continue to build their things out, but also what new projects are popping up uh, and, and that's where the biggest opportunity will lay because these new projects will not get much funding uh, today they still get some but in one year's time uh, when the market continues to go down they will not get much funding and so uh, you will be able to really invest in ICOs uh, and, 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 uh, and, and, and just other projects that don't do ICOs uh, at very interesting prices very likely um, so that's uh, my recommendation um, for the future.
and uh, this time I'm gonna really keep it short below 10 minutes bye bye guys